Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Point State Park right here in my hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Huh. It's just, it's, it's a perfect, a cold, but perfect Saturday morning to do this video. It's going to be 65 today. It's about 38 right now. It's pretty cold. And um, bountiful sunshine all day long great day to come out here and enjoy the park there's not going to be too many great days left this year to do that but we're here to do our point state park video i got my pennsylvania passport here for the state parks and state forests you may have seen the videos i've done here in the past i've done several videos here at christmas time and a couple during the summer and it's just always a great little place for us to hang out it's only a few minutes away from our home right here five minutes down the highway from us as a matter of fact and i don't come here all the time but when i do i try to soak it in because it can be pretty beautiful down here knowing that the city which is right back that way is just full of life and it's hectic and car horns are beeping and people get angry at others for cutting them off and people walking out in front of cars you know you, you know the whole drill but anyway here you have peace you have tranquility it's just wonderful down here you have Heinz Field here where the Steelers play I don't care what anybody says it's still Heinz Field in in the uh, eyes of a true Yinzer here <laughs> but it's a great place down here it's a small park I think it's only about 36 acres in size which makes for this video uh, to be a lot easier than some of the parks I go to where they're 20,000 acres so um, great little place. The only headache I'll have is trying to get the stamp for this going to, uh, I think it's 601 Common Place or Commonwealth Place, Building A or something. I believe that's what it is, but you know we'll get our stamp. So anyway, we have the book. There's Point State Park there. And I'll read you the info for this place. The highlight of the park is the view. You get this fantastic view of the three rivers here where they meet, where the Mon and the Allegheny meet and make the Ohio River. You have the awesome skyline behind you. You have views of Mount Washington, the incline, and you have views of the North Shore where the Steelers play a ball and the Pirates play up the road a little bit here at PNC Park. So great views out here. This is fantastic in the summertime when they have the fireworks for the 4th of July. And when they used to do the Three Rivers Regatta years and years ago when I was growing up, that all took place right here, and it was always a lot of fun. But anyway, the history, of, or a little bit of info about, but anyway, a little bit of info about Point State Park. Located at the tip of Pittsburgh's Golden Triangle, the park contains paved promenades along the riverfront and overlooks with views of the city, waterways, and hillside scenery. Its fountain celebrates where the Allegheny and Monongahela rivers join to make the headwaters of the Ohio River, a national historic landmark. So, what are we waiting for? I need to get my body temperature up because it's really cold down here, so the only way I'm going to do that is by walking around and moving instead of sitting here on these icy cold steps. So anyway, let's go around and check out this beautiful place. You get this neat little walkway that goes under the active highway above for the bridges. Fort Pitt Bridge, Fort Duquesne Bridge. And if you've seen my Christmas videos, you know when you walk over this, straight ahead will be the big Christmas tree. And during the summer, well, they used to do it. I don't know if they still do. They would fill this up with water. These would be filled up with water. And unfortunately, they had to put gates up. 
because people would play in there. But yeah, this would be full of water underneath of here, hence this little bridge that we're walking on. Then as you continue to walk out here, you get to the park and you have paved walkways on both sides. And you have the Fort Pitt Museum right there. And there's your Fort Duc or Fort Pitt Bridge rather. Going right to the Fort Pitt Tunnel. Not really sure why they have the grass fenced off. But it's getting ready to be a beautiful day down here. And once I get to the actual point, you'll be able to see the skyline of Pittsburgh much better. Now if you've seen my videos here in the past, you know just how nice the skyline looks here from the actual point, right where the rivers meet. And it's pretty cool. Especially the ones I've done here at Christmas time. And even the uh, couple that I've done during the summer months. But anyway, check out this walkway. It's paved and it's pretty cool. Right at dawn like this to have the lights lighted up the way they do. You have walkways. This one takes you to the point. That one will take you along the Allegheny River. Well, there's that shot of downtown, like I was telling you. Right here at the fountain. The fountain isn't on quite yet for the day. It will be soon. See, the pool is completely filled up. setting up to be a beautiful day. There's your view looking towards the West End Bridge. We're standing literally at the point. And this is right where the Ohio River starts. Over here by Heinz Field, yes, I still call it Heinz Field, by the way, you have the Allegheny River. And on my left over here, there's the incline. The Fort Pitt Tunnel, you have the Monongahela River. And this water is so calm right now, it's like a sheet of glass. Setting up to be a picture perfect Saturday here in late October. where I'm at right now too. This right here, these steps in this walkway that goes around the fountain, 
right here, this does flood. This is well known for flooding, especially in the springtime when we get all the winter melt and the springtime rain. This, this definitely floods. I've seen water come all the way up here to the fountain before. And if you can believe this, in 1996, we had the big flood down here in downtown Point State Park. The fountain and everything here was completely underwater. That means the water here would be up to my head. Right where the fountain is right there, that's about how high the water was. So you figure how high that is compared to the river below, and you get an idea. The whole North Shore River Walk was underwater, and it was all from snow melt and ice built up that made dams further up the Allegheny River. Oh, and they just turned the fountain on. Perfect timing. How cool is that? It is shortly after 7 a.m. I'm happy that they turned it on. Can you imagine how cold that water is right now? It's 38 degrees out here. Oof. <laughs> anyway, now I get a pretty cool shot of downtown with the fountain on. I didn't get that a few minutes ago. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What a cool shot. You see that little airplane on the right side there? You see the vapor trail from it? So we take a walk right along the edge here. Just gotta be careful if you fall in. This water's pretty deep out here. And there's no like life-saving rings around here. But normally there will be so many people down here during the daytime that if somebody did accidentally fall in, I'm sure somebody would jump in to help them. I would think. We have good people here. There's a look at the Fort Pitt Bridge again. And a shot up the Monongahela River along the river walk here. And, you know, it's not too common, but I will see people fish down here on occasion. This park is very handicap friendly. Perfect place for a picnic. Sightseeing. Walking. Biking, like this guy up the trail here. Just taking it in. And I've seen people sunbathe here. <laughs> Look at that shot of Heinz Field in the fountain. Have you ever wondered what Pittsburgh looked like before it was all built up like this? And before the fountain here was put in and all the development here? Well, let me show you. That's what it looked like in 1817. Imagine that. And here's what it looked like when the Native Americans were here in the 1700s. And then here's what it looked like in 1955. Look at that, before it was all built up. And here's the Monongahela, and here's the Allegheny River going all the way up towards my family's homes. I think my grandparents were living up here. 
up there in Millville, where I grew up. I think it went from that to this. Wow, now the water's starting to pour over. That's what it's supposed to do, though. And then it recirculates, it goes through filters and pumps and goes back out. And the legend is that the fountain here gets its water from an underground river underneath of these rivers here. And also, weird fact, it was just discovered by a diving team that was searching for a missing person that they found over a hundred cars in the rivers here under the water. Now, I have a theory as to why we have so many cars in the river like that, and I hate to say it, but it's probably due to some of the floods that we've had here. Like I had mentioned earlier, the big flood of 1996 from uh, the snow melt and the ice that was all built up further up the Allegheny, it flooded a lot of areas, and it probably just swept cars from the low-lying areas along the riverbanks there. And then another massive flood that we had here was in 2004 from Hurricane Ivan that came through here. Totally devastated my town, uh, my house, my grandparents' house. We were, we were pretty roughed up, but we came back. We were fine, but our houses were... They were pretty, pretty bad from that flood, and uh, we lost a lot of things, but we were strong. We came back. You know, President George Bush came to Millville. He sent FEMA here right away, got us all help with uh, the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and uh, we got back on our feet pretty damn fast, so we were okay. But I do think that cars from those floods ended up in the river here. It wouldn't surprise me because Ivan was so bad. So many boats were lost too. So many boats got swept and went over dams and locks in the rivers. And so it, that's just my assumption. And I'm sure there's other reasons why cars are in there for bad reasons too, which is sad, but that's history. Okay, so they closed off the grassy area because it's a natural resource rehabilitation area. So, it's only temporary, which I figured anyway. This grass can get pretty muddy up here anyway. I've walked through here right into big, like, pockets of mud in the past. But that's okay. We can enjoy the view from back here. Fall foliage is in full swing here too. Look at the colors on that tree. And just in case you were wondering what that building is there, and this one is here, these are restrooms and maintenance. Uh, they keep supplies in their little bobcats and little trucks like this one right here to clean the park and keep it nice. So, yeah, if you, if you do come here, they do have restrooms, paved walkways, perfect for everybody. And they have benches all over the place. They have water fountains here, which I'm sure are turned off, I would imagine. I can't imagine this being on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, benches here. Take it all in. It's perfect. There's a look up the Allegheny River now. And we're up here on this upper walkway. They have the lower one down there. And as you see, you just go down that way where that walkway meets this one. You can go down the steps there 
or they have a ramp further up anyway. Starting to get some people here now. We were all by ourselves when we showed up, besides one photographer. The city's waking up on it a Saturday morning. It's about 7.30 now. Still hasn't warmed up. Yeah, my fingers are frozen right now. <laughs> oh, that's okay. And I think I've been down here on Christmas Eve at midnight, Christmas morning anyway, <laughs> wearing a t-shirt down here because it would be in the 60s. We'd get that little warm front that would come through, and then one year I'm down here, and it's just ice cold, and the wind was blowing like crazy. I don't know if you ever saw those Christmas videos I did down here, but it was so windy and cold down here, it was like a hurricane <laughs> with the wind anyway. And then another year I'm down here and it was balmy. <laughs> but just wait guys, pretty soon the Christmas tree will be going up right there. I hope. I know they were talking about not doing it and I know enough people signed petitions to get Duquesne Light to put it up. So hopefully they do it again this year. But that's where it goes, is right there in the grass. Let's take a walk up this walkway anyway. Yep, that's the pump house. That's what this building is. That's what makes the fountain work. And you can either go to the left, go towards the front of the park, or go down here on the right, taking you along the river. Perhaps getting our stamp for the book won't be so hard after all. Straight up that way there, I see the uh, DCNR vehicles, so the park ranger uh, vehicles, so... I imagine their building or their office is right there somewhere. Cool, we're gonna find out and get our stamp, hopefully. I would think. And um, well, I know we plan on doing Allegheny Island State Park too, and this is where you would get the stamp for it. So we'll see, maybe they can stamp it for that too. This way when we go to Allegheny Islands, it'll already be done, so. Let's go and see if we can get it. Might be too early in the morning yet. I might have to wait till at least nine, but that has to be the building, I would think. So, let's find out. And there's your skyline in the background. Every time I say skyline, I want chili. <laughs> skyline chili. Your Fort Pitt Museum. A mound of dirt. Okay. <laughs> But your Fort Pitt Museum, yeah, and that has to be the office there, I would think. Every time I talk with a park ranger, though, or try to get my stamp, they're always so nice. So I'm sure they'll help me out. Check that out. I never noticed this back here before. I usually don't come up this way. Look at the sunrise lighting up the hillside over there. Look at that. That gold color with the uh, fall foliage. It's beautiful. And yeah, here's a ramp here. If you are handicapped or wheelchair bound, there's a handicap accessible ramp right here. Take you right down to the river trail and places like that below. Perfect. And they have another one there too because the vehicles have to go around here because the park rangers do rounds around the park now and again to make sure everything's okay so that works 
Yeah, that has to be their office. Perfect. Well, that worked out very well. I started walking away because I had seen a maintenance man uh, and I asked him and he said the park ranger was out jogging or something around. And as soon as I started walking away, I heard him whistle me back and there was the park ranger there. And the very nice park ranger was able to stamp my book for Point State Park there. Pretty cool. And so I don't have to bother them again and uh, come down here in the future. He gave me my stamp for Allegheny Island State Park too. So we'll be going there very soon too. We have to go there by boat, but I can't wait. That's going to be a fun one. Talk about isolation right on the Allegheny Island right there and uh, just up the river from my home. I can't wait. How about the colors of that tree here on the right? It's just beautiful out here today. It's only 40 degrees now. Slowly warming up. <laughs> but it's making out to be a picture-perfect day again, like I said. Gotta come out and enjoy your parks while you still can. While you still have time. Throughout the park, they have little maps on these poles around to help guide you where you need to be, let you know where you're at. I mean, it's pretty hard to get lost down here. But it does happen. There's my shadow. We are walking by the Fort Pitt Museum. Love the landscaping they did here. The old fort. Daughters of the American Revolution, the Fort Pitt Blockhouse, constructed in 1764, only surviving structure of Fort Pitt, Pittsburgh's oldest architectural landmark. there's the Fort Pitt Museum once again. I've been in there a couple of times over the years. They open at 10 a.m. They close at 5. They're open daily, except holidays. It's a pretty nice place. Good people in there. And you learn quite a lot about our city and the old Fort Pitt here. Notice the stars on the American flag there. Not very many.
I'm assuming that's how many states we had at the time Fort Pitt existed. There's one last look at the point. Behind me is the bridge that goes over the little pole, the reflection poles. Park is starting to fill up with people as the city wakes up on another beautiful day. There's a look at downtown Pittsburgh here at the entrance to Point State Park. And fun fact, right here in this grassy area in 2017, I was down here for the Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup Parade. I wanted to come down here in 2016 too, but inclement weather kept me from doing that. But in 17, it was incredible. Yeah, I'll tell you, we had one heck of a party at the point. It was so much fun. Right here, all the Pittsburgh Penguins from the 2017 Stanley Cup team. Oh, Mike Lang, everybody was here. It was a great day. Coach Sullivan, you name it. We had a blast. And the crowd went wild. <laughs> It was so much fun. Can't believe how many years ago that was already though. Right here they have little seating areas. You can enjoy a little meal, a picnic. And during the season, this is actually a little cafe here. A gift from the employees at PNC. Yeah, it's nice when it's open. Anyway, I think that'll wrap it up for here. I want to thank you all for joining me this uh, morning, this cold autumn morning. <laughs> it's a spectacular day to get out and enjoy the park, a park. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little walk around this place. This is my hometown. This is my uh, closest state park to my uh, house anyway, besides Allegheny Islands, which will be there soon enough. But I really hope you enjoyed this one. I had a blast doing this. Every time I get to come down here, I have a blast. And, uh, well, I can only hope that the big Christmas tree will go up down here. It doesn't sound good because when I was talking to the park ranger off camera while he was stamping my book, I asked him if he knew if the tree was going up, and he said he didn't think so. However... He said the rangers only find out when we do. <laughs> they only find out as it's happening. And you'd think they'd be in the loop more because they have to keep an eye on the park. They're the ones that keep the park in check and make sure everything's going well here and do all the paperwork, I would imagine. So, but we shall see. And if they don't do it, as sad as it'll be, it'll be okay. We'll still have a good Christmas like we always do. The Christmas videos have already started, so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, though, and if Duquesne likes watching this video, put the tree up. We all love it here. Stop being cheapskates. Do something nice for the community. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Take care. Stay awesome. And on Kayla's behalf, who uh, she's at work, by the way, as she normally is when I do these videos early Saturday mornings. Have a Point State Park. Let's just stay. <laughs> it's a mouthful. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. 
even the trucker said bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>